not necessarily about a letdown. I mean, it's all you got to do is put on film. And, you know, they're physical and they're well coached. You know, it was such an emotional game last week that you know we got to make sure that we get our kids a little more you know, amped up to play again. But like I said, you put on the film, you know that we can't take it easy or anything like that. That team's good. They're well coached. They're physical. And it's a completely different, conf completely different animal. Folsom's throwing the ball over the place. And you put on film these guys. It's kind of like watching us in a lot of like double tight. They're just running it, running it, running it, and, they get, and they're physical. And you know they got some good runners. They have a, one really good runner in particular. Their defense is physical. And they play hard. And they tackle well. So we're going to get hit in the mouth, which is I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, everyone's saying congratulations versus Folsom. Put on film, and you got to turn the page real quick because these guys are good. Now the running back you're talking about is that Daywan McNeely. Yeah, the number. Yeah, yeah. he's. But they run. They run three different guys because he plays defense as well. But he's. I think. I mean, I think he's getting recruited by a lot of people. There's he's a reason. Got why. offers. Oh. On the he should. Yeah, he's a good runner. He's very, very talented. But you know, their line's big. They're physical. Like I said, they're well coached. They don't miss blocks. They sustain their blocks. And on defense, they run that five-man front. They got guys moving all over the place. It's it's going to present a problem for sure. They're good. You know, I'm sure they're going to bring a lot of fans up. So. It's exciting. Everyone's like, hey, congratulations for Folsom. Terry and I were walking around campus today. We're like, we, we forgot about that. We moved on. And we have to. And our, kid, I, our kids did a good job, too. They came in. They did a lot of prep for these guys over the weekend. So, Which areas would you them. want to see improve? we got to run the ball better. Yeah, we got to run the ball better. Uh, we'll throw a little bit more, too. It's just that game was so – there weren't a lot of plays in that last game. And it was you know such a very small margin for error. Uh, our line has to. We were physical on the offensive line. We just we weren't smart. Uh, we got to get smarter on the offensive line. We got to get downhill with our running backs. Our running backs were trying to dance around a little bit too much. And you know, you watch a guy like Kyrie last year. They, they got to get to the second level before they start doing that. They were dancing around, you know, before they got to the defensive line a lot. Our line needs to do a better job of getting some lane. So that's what we want to. You know, we want to continue playing the great defense that we did. We want to get our running game going a little bit better. How much of a factor is your speed on defense? That was one of the things I noticed in your scrum that you guys are fast. Yeah, uh, you can hear them in there. Our strength coach does a great job. The, we just have more. We have we, we just have a lot more athletic kids this year, and, and you know we're able to in certain situations we're able to put you know six DBs in. We'd have well, you count Henry as sort of a DB. He's he can cover pretty much anybody. So we were subbing a lot of guys in and just going man coverage, and not a lot of teams do that against Folsom because. They couldn't match up that well. And, you know, Wallace did a great job, and so did Daly and, you know, Lou Hearns and Tavius. Those guys all did a good job, so it's, it's nice that we have – we've got a lot more team speed. I don't – that first interception that Shamar had, we were watching on film the next morning. I mean, I saw it in person. It was impressive, but the makeup ground that he had, I mean, he was he came from the middle of the field and he tracked that ball down. It's, it's nice to have a team that can recover really quickly and we can go man if need be. Doing a lot of that – a lot less of that this week because – you know, those guys are going to be in double tights. But it's nice to be able to have that recovery speed. And that's something that we, you know, that we lacked a lot the last couple of years. You know, we didn't match up well against, you know, Bosco and obviously modern day. So we have the, we have a better capability defensively in that regard. One guy who saw the game said the pressure you put on their quarterback was under siege all night. He said he thought that affected their passing. That was the most important thing we had, yeah. They, every time they tried to get a deeper route except for like a quick fade, you know, Fosky especially, but those other guys were in there, you know, Rask and Tagalog. We rotated six guys a lot, Puckett, uh, Tossi, and Fenro. And every time they tried to do a deep pass, our line was in there. They just, we just didn't have time. I think we had something like seven sacks. But he was pressured on every throw where they tried to get any deeper route. So because of that, you know, we were able, we were able to do press, and we were able to move our corners up and our, our outside linebackers, and we were able to get physical with those receivers because we knew that the ball had to be off quickly or else our defensive line was going to get there. Our secondary and our linebackers did a great job, but our defensive line won us the game, there's no doubt about it.